Today, we're going to go over the DeWalt tower light versus the Milwaukee rocket light. So stay tuned, we got some specs, features, did some runtime tests and everything for you. We're gonna show you brightness of each of these, tell you a little bit about them and go from there. So stay tuned guys. All right guys, so uh, I have had the DeWalt tower light. DeWalt sent me this tower light two years ago, actually. It was uh, February, end of February of 2018. So I've had this light for about two years. And then I got this Milwaukee light because I really wanted to do this test for y'all and uh, go over some specs and stuff. I see a lot of people that do these videos and they just don't go into runtime. They, you know, just read stuff off the uh, main page of, of each of these, you know, Milwaukee or DeWalt's website. I want to give y'all more than that. So uh, we're going to talk about these, give you some pros, cons, things like that. So let's, you know, jump right into this. Uh, after owning both of these, I am going to say that I do feel the DeWalt is better built. Uh, I'm not saying the Milwaukee's bad, but it just feels like the DeWalt uh, with the handle, the way it can set and everything here. Uh, you know, the Milwaukee does not have any of that stuff. So uh, the DeWalt just feels, you know, way better overall built. Now I've seen some people that's had problems with the legs on their DeWalt when they go to actually set this up. And I'm not sure uh, if they're slamming this down or what the deal is, but I've had no issues whatsoever with any of my legs and it's literally been two years. So uh, I've got no issues with that. Milwaukee is a great light. Um, I love Milwaukee when it comes to their tools and things like that. But once again, overall construction, this just feels not as heavy duty as the DeWalt when it comes to handle wise or, you know, this right here, the cover um, is a little thinner plastic that you're going to be able to see. But uh, both of these are great lights. And, you know, the thing is, is both of these are pretty much the same price. So uh, you can find the Milwaukee on sale for, for around 150 uh, every now and then. The DeWalt uh, Home Depot has right now for 159, I believe. But normally it's, you know, 200, 210, depending on where you buy it. Uh, this is normally 199. So uh, you can get this with a starter kit and a battery for the same price, the 199. So, you know, I, I feel like I'm comparing apples to apples here. Uh, because this is the tower light for DeWalt. This is the tower light for Milwaukee. So let's show you some of the features of these. Talk about the height that you're going to get out of these from the beginning. All right, guys. So let's talk about some specs of these bad boys. Standing straight up here, we've got the Milwaukee on your right, the DeWalt on your left. And uh, the Milwaukee, as you can tell, stands 40.5 inches tall. The DeWalt is 39 and an eighth. Now, if you also notice the base and the top that holds this light in, you know, is thicker than the DeWalt one. So that's probably where you're getting your extra height from. Um, and you would honestly think that with that, you've got, you know, that the Milwaukee would probably be taller once you extend it, but that's not the case. So uh, anyway, weight on these, the Milwaukee, you're looking at 16, uh, actually it's 15 pounds. Milwaukee is 15 pounds. The DeWalt is 16 and a half pounds. So the DeWalt is a one and a half pounds heavier, but it feels uh, way more durable in my personal opinion. Um, so, you know, lumen wise, uh, the Milwaukee over here, you're looking at 2,500 is the max lumens this puts out. Uh, setting two, you're going to get 1100 lumens and then setting three on low you're going to get 700 lumens the dewalt you're going to get 3000 lumens on high we have no clue what the setting is on medium or low uh, i reached out to dewalt about this and asked them about it and all i got was this light is 1001 to 3000 so uh, I'm not sure if they don't know an actual lumen output for medium and low 
or if they just don't want to give the information out, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, we do not know. So we can only assume that possibly 1001 would be their low setting and 2000 lumens would be their medium. And then of course on the max, you're going to get 3000 lumens out of this. So we've got, uh, they claim, both of these manufacturers claim that they're seven foot high. So we're going to put these on the floor. We're going to extend them up here and we're going to give you the actual measurements of what they are. So uh, let's get that. All right guys, so uh, each of these you can literally get these extended, ready to go in less than five seconds. And when I say less than five seconds, I mean it's as simple as pulling that out, loosening these up, get your light up, tighten, tighten, and you're good to go. Both of them are very easy to do. There you go, boom. Now, if you can notice, we'll face these down a little. All right, so now, if you can notice, uh, you once again, we would have thought the Milwaukee was a little heavier. Both of these sway, and uh, I think the DeWalt definitely has more sway than the Milwaukee. But, you know, they're supposed to be crash resistant uh, to where if they fall over, they're not going to hurt anything. I'm not going to personally try to ruin my stuff, but uh, just letting you know that they're supposed to be. Height wise, they both claim seven foot. Now, if the legs are up like this, <clears throat> then we'll give you the dimensions of that. With the legs up, on the Milwaukee, I've got so much stuff that I wanted to go over. I wrote it down. It's 81 inches with the stand like this. The DeWalt, if the stand was up to the top of the light from the floor, seven foot. So uh, you're, you're a little off on that part. Now, once we put the stand out, That changes things. Now we're raised up off the floor. Now that we're stand is out, we're looking at 83 and a half inches. So we're a half inch uh, off from being at seven foot on the Milwaukee. The DeWalt, however, is at 88 inches. So uh, 88 inches with the stand. That is four inches over what they claim. Uh, is that four inches gonna matter to you? I'm not real sure, uh, but you know, to some it might, to some it may not. So um, I tested these with a five amp hour battery and I tested them, well, I tested the DeWalt with a six amp hour as well because I wanted to see run time, actual run time over and over and over again. So we did run time test on these and uh, <coughs> with the Milwaukee, the run time with a five amp hour battery, you were looking at uh, consistently four hours and five minutes, consistent. Right between that four hour and two minute and four hour and five minute mark, consistently over and over again on high 2,500 lumens. Now, I did not test it on low. I did not test it on medium. I wanted to give you the specs I don't know very many people that's going to buy this light and use it on lower medium. I honestly don't. If I buy a light, I go to use it for the, for the max. Uh, but if you are running low on battery, then, you know, it is something you could do to save more time, I guess. But uh, if you've got two five amp hour batteries, this thing will last you all day long on high. DeWalt, five amp hour battery, multiple tests over and over again. Uh, we got anywhere from two hours, 40 minutes to two hours and 44 minutes. And that was multiple tests. 
Um, so I've got stopwatches that you should be seeing right now on my phone of the time that these, you know, started blinking. Uh, the DeWalt started blinking at two hours, 30 minutes. Uh, and then it lasted till two hours, 44 minutes. And I literally, by the time I got the timer in front of the, the phone or the camera, uh, that was recording i think it was two hours 44 minutes 10 seconds so uh so we did try it with a six amp hour battery as well six amp hour battery you're looking at right around three hours 20 minutes multiple tests done uh, with the six amp i did not use a six amp on the milwaukee i don't have a six amp um, so that's why I tested both of these with a five amp hour battery. So with the extra 500 lumens that a Walt puts out, it also don't hold up. You know, I mean, you're looking at two hours and 40 ish minutes. You're, you're going through three batteries, uh, in a day and you're, that's probably going to get you your eight hours, um, on how on one of these, but, uh, let's put a battery in these. Let's show you the brightness. We're going to turn the lights off here and show you, uh, the low mid and high on both of these. And then we'll come back and go over our final thoughts. Uh, I think I'm going to cut the video and I'm going to show y'all a side by side brightness of each light so um, you can see instead of me doing it like this and that way when i go through the settings you can actually see the brightness difference in the room uh, but they you know they light up very very nice i can't say anything bad about these lights whatsoever so i'm sure the camera does not do any justice with it being very dark and uh, these lights being on but this is the high setting on both of these lights here is your medium setting now and now here is the low setting all right so uh now that we got past that um there's a couple things feature wise i want to talk about so uh with both of these regardless of which one you're using the legs on these have holes in them so you can mount them to something once they're fully extended to keep this from falling over and whatnot. Um, that's a great feature I think that both of these lights have. But when it comes to your battery dies on this, you have no other option um, other than a battery. Uh, and I think, you know, DeWalt, if you're listening, when you come out with a, another light, you should definitely add the AC on this because uh, I honestly think that's where Milwaukee just takes and you know for the win I mean <clears throat> you could take your extension cord plug it in this does not let me repeat this will not charge your battery so if your battery is dead this will not charge it Milwaukee has a $400 rocket light if you want something like that but uh, I mean, I think they just knocked it out of the park by adding the AC uh, plug, you know, adapter to this thing. Um, so, you know, if we were going by everything, then <clears throat> overall, my personal opinion, both lights are great. But when it comes to uh, the feel of what feels just more, more, uh, Kind of bulkier i guess or uh you know whatever anyway uh when it comes to the way that they're that they're made then i think dewalt wins that uh lumen wise dewalt has more lumens runtime milwaukee has seems to have way more runtime um with the same battery and uh you know what i mean 2500 3000 it's really up to you you decide which one you care about but keep in mind you know Hey, Milwaukee's got the AC plug, another point for them, you know? Um, I mean, it's, it's real hard to give it to one of these uh, or the other. Um, it, I bought the Milwaukee with my own money. DeWalt, once again, sent me this light two years ago and I've used the living fire out of it. Uh, and so, you know, it's just what you prefer, a pound and a half wider. This one's, you know, 16 pounds. I mean, when it all comes down to the specs, they're pretty, right there neck to neck 
uh, the DeWalt might win by a point because it's actually taller. So, uh, you know, if you take into consideration everything, then, you know, point by point, the DeWalt would probably win. But, you know, it's really just what you want. Uh, I can't say anything bad about either one of these lights because I bought the Milwaukee light um, and I, I like the Milwaukee light. I like the DeWalt light. So let me know down below, guys, what's your thoughts? Would you buy the Milwaukee? Do you buy the DeWalt? Do you own both? Do you own one or the other? Uh, let me know. So, you know, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions I haven't went over or I failed to mention uh, any specs, please comment down below. Let me know. Like this video, share it, and uh, we'll see you soon. So thanks for watching, guys.